First Baptist Youth. I hope you are doing well. Uh, you know we've been talking about uh, the fruit of the Spirit the last few weeks, and so this week we're going to talk about joy. I don't know if you've ever gotten a present. Uh, oh, right, balloons. And then maybe for Christmas or your birthday you've had that present, and then it's like two weeks, three weeks, a month later, and you've gotten bored with that present already. You've decided, oh man, uh, kind of like I threw the balloons jokingly, uh, eh, that I'm bored with that, give me something new. Um, the difference between joy and happiness is that uh, with joy, it comes from the inside. Happiness depends on what we get or what other people do on the outside. So kind of like that present that you got, that you got bored with pretty quickly or decided wasn't good anymore, uh, you were happy about it when you first got it. It was great in the moment. And then after a while, uh, it wasn't so great or it got boring. Uh, joy is different than that happiness. It doesn't depend on what other people do or say to us. And I want to read you a scripture from the book, Old Testament book, Habakkuk. Uh, and this is uh, chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. Verses 17 and 18. Though the fig tree does not blossom and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the olive fails and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. And so... That passage sounds a little funny. They talk about all these things. This person has this field, and it isn't going well. The crops they're growing uh, aren't going well. They aren't coming up. It sounds like a bad season for harvest. And yet, they say, I will exalt in the Lord. I will find joy in the Lord. So I want to challenge you this week to think about joy, the joy that God gives us on the inside. And try not to let your circumstances decide how you're going to act or how much joy you have. And we're all guilty of that. It's hard to do. We have a, a good day because people say nice things to us and things go our way. We have a bad day when things don't go our way. But the reality is God is always there for you. Always. God always cares about you. So I hope you will find who you are, your identity, and I hope you will find your joy in the Lord this week and every week. I know that we care about you and are praying for you.